Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install iTunes on your Windows computer. So let's get started. Now, iTunes is used to connect your iPhone with the Windows computer so you can back up, transfer files, and much more. So what you'll do is go to any browser and then you're going to search basically iTunes. And once you search on iTunes, it should take you to the very first page, which is going to be apples.com iTunes. So we're going to go to this download page make sure again it's from apple.com forward slash itunes you can go directly on that as well and when you're on the other page you can go ahead and find the link to get it from microsoft store or so so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and click on that link and then it's going to give us a download option here so we're going to go ahead and download and begin the download process and then once the download is complete which is executable we're going to double click on it basically to open it up or launch it so as you can see it's launching now and then we're going to click on install here so we're going to begin the installation process to install iTunes on our computer so it's going to do some quick checks and then install we can exit out of our browser and wait for this to install So it took a few minutes to download and install because I have a slightly slower internet connection here. And I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and condition. And finally, we have iTunes installed. This is the icon, icon if you didn't know. And then in order to connect your phone, like I said, you just connect one cable, like you would charge it, and then take the other end, either USB or USB-C, and just plug it into your computer and then it's going to say trust so you're going to hit trust over here and then enter your phone's passcode and then continue here as well trust and now what we have done is connected our iphone here we can see up top here if we have our connection here so we're going to go ahead so we can agree here just real quick And finally, you will see here, we can download updates if I needed to here, but I'm not going to do that right now. I can see here, basically, I can access my phone info, I can go back here, access things like photos and videos as well. So if I have videos on my phone, photos, all that can be found by navigating through each of the lists on this device, and I can go ahead and sync them accordingly. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.